Hello fellow Kaiju fans and Kaiju collectors, I'm back for my next uh, review, and this review, uh, before I get into it, I'm actually going to give you a little update. Um, these are going to be my last two reviews for the year, so I'm going to skip doing an update actually, because I really don't have anything to show you guys that I haven't either shown you already, or I don't have enough to actually do an update. It would be more like a latest buys kind of video, and I really don't want to waste the time to do the video to do that when I could just do the review, show you guys, and then when uh, when it comes time to, especially next year, uh, pick up some stuff and then just do an update that way. Because there's already stuff coming out for next year, like the 62 Godzilla from NECA and uh, whatever NECA may be doing for King of the Monsters. Hopefully, they we at least get a Godzilla. I'm actually really hoping for a, um, a King Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra so we can have the full set of all the main kaiju appearing in the movie for uh, for a NECA line. That would be neat, actually. Instead of just doing Godzilla's all the time, do some other kaiju. So, yeah, I've got this Blu-ray that I'm going to do now, and the, uh, the next one that I'm going to do, which is actually a Christmas gift. But other than that, that's going to be it, really, for uh, the reviews or for my latest buys. So, yeah. So today we're going to be covering Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth on Blu-ray. Now this is one of the many Blu-rays that they put out in 2014 for the 2014 movie and with the new one coming out next year I'm hoping to get I'm hoping we get uh, Son of Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla on Blu-ray because that would round out the uh, Tristar uh, slash Kraken releases that we would need to fill out the Godzilla Blu-rays. Then we gotta get Classic Media on their game. So for this, um, I'm actually not going to go back into the plot of this. I'll just briefly summarize it because I went more in depth with this review. So if you just want to find out the plot of the movie, go back and watch these reviews for them. This is just going to be more going over the Blu-ray set itself than it will be the movies. So um, basically for Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, time travelers come back to erase Godzilla from our history and to... Uh, prevent us from ever having to deal with Godzilla again, and in, and instead they actually put their own monster, which are three tiny Dorats that morph into King Ghidorah in their place to pretty much dominate the world and prevent Japan from becoming a uh, world superpower. So that's the basic general plot of this one, uh, and then Godzilla and Mothra, there's a whole bunch of uh, like catastrophic events that start occurring and it starts giving the humans the idea that maybe the world's going to end. I mean, we've got an evil Mothra called Batra, Mothra and Godzilla all popping up, plus volcanoes, earthquakes, all of that. And um, it actually, you know what, actually, I could just give you the, uh, I just realized the plots are on the back. So if you really want to, you can just read them. If you just want to pause right there. Read it. And Guzzle and Mothra. So, yeah. Um, so overall, this is a definitely a worthwhile Blu-ray set to buy. Um, picture quality is really good. Definitely an upgrade over the DVDs. It's also nice to finally have them on two separate discs. Like, so, if I can get this open. Yeah, so, Guzzle vs. King Ghidorah. And... Godzilla and Mothra. It's nice to have them on two separate discs as opposed to one because at least then they're not you're not worried about one getting destroyed and not being able to watch it. Um, they're very light on extras as far as like actual extras go. Really, all you get are trailers. And don't get me wrong, they're cool, but I'd rather get like there is definitely making of footage of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah out there. I mean it's on YouTube, so they could have easily somehow tracked it down and put it on here. Uh, I don't know about Godzilla and Mothra, but even still, like just having one of them on here with some kind of making up footage would be really cool. But, alas, that did not happen. The fact that we get the Japanese dub, though, is the major plus. Um, I never cared for the English dubs of the Heisei movies, really. I just, I feel like the voices are very 90s-ish. Like, they're they're your stereotypical 90s dubbing. And don't get me wrong, it's it's not a bad thing, but I'd rather just watch them in their native Japanese language uh, and enjoy it that way. And really, the 
the Japanese dub, I mean, now this is also a TriStar release, so they may just go and do the subtitles based upon what the English dub is, not even knowing if the Japanese actually covers it. But just watching in Japanese makes it a little bit easier to watch and really enhances the experience of watching these movies. So, yeah, uh, obviously packaging-wise, it's your average uh, Blu-ray packaging. I mean, we've gotten these for pretty much all the Godzilla Blu-rays that they've released. But the presentation on these is very good. Uh, you can definitely tell they upped the ante from the DVDs, which I don't know why, but I think that they may have pulled the masters from like a VHS and maybe upped it a little bit. But the Blu-rays, you can definitely tell they took some time up the picture quality. I mean, these movies weren't really meant to look like some epic movie like The Ten Commandments or Ben-Hur or something like that. These are Godzilla movies. They're meant to be fun. And quite honestly, I like the look to the 90s Godzilla movies. Like, they look very... They don't have, like, a pop, like, a very bright, poppy look to them. They're kind of matted down and I think the Blu-rays really do them justice by like bringing out a little bit of the colors but not too much so overall I would definitely recommend picking up this Blu-ray uh, you can usually find them I got this for like 12 bucks um, usually if you go to like places like FYE they usually have them on sale uh, the Godzilla Tokyo SOS pack I've seen for like 6 bucks it's mainly the other ones that are still high priced but that I'm sure once the uh, new movie comes out these will probably go back on sale again, and you'll be able to get them for a decent bargain. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if it seems a little half-assed, but there's really nothing to go over because I've gone over the plots and everything with the DVD. So, this is really just kind of going over the Blu-ray. So, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys for the next review.